The original idea was simple. Put a number on a player's uniform to help identify them to the fans in the stands. In the early days of uniform numbers, the digits were handed out for mostly mundane reasons. Since then, things have gotten a little more complicated. Now the athlete's jersey number is an important and marketable part of that player's identity. At Dayton, many reveal that the number they wear goes back to their first team. Others honor basketball idols, and some have their own esoteric reasons. A long story short, a kid in Baltimore that I'm very, was very close with uh, passed away in 2010. Uh, it was like July 5th, uh, passed away after like a New Year's Eve part. Uh, I mean, not, not New Year's Eve, uh, July 4th, uh, 4th of July party. And uh, he, uh, he got murdered in Baltimore. So, so a lot of guys from the Baltimore area who knew him, you know, way at 15 and legacy. So. It was the first jersey number that I had when I uh, started playing organized basketball. And then I never really realized that my birthday was on 11-11, so, and my number is 11, so, you know, just having that number, I guess, I guess you can make a, um, a connection between the two. My freshman year, I was uh, playing JV in the beginning, and, um, but I dressed varsity, so when I dressed varsity, the only thing I left was 20. And then so uh, when I moved up to varsity, that's when I started playing more, and I just the number stuck with me. So it's just it's, I like the number. I like I, I like the you know the, the double digits. I like that. Going in my seventh seventh grade, I uh, we were given a number and it was 33, and so I just stuck through that through middle school. And then um, in high school, I was a freshman. I was getting to play varsity, and so I wasn't able to pick my number again. So they just gave me the number 33, and it's just always stuck with me ever since. I switched my number numerous times in high school from 25 to 14, but when I when I became on varsity and one of the senior captains left who had the original number, number three, uh, his name was Fabian Harris that went to uh, Idaho State University, which is a JUCO, and then ended up transferring to Texas A&M for his last couple of years. Once he left, I ended up taking over the number three jersey, and I just felt like number three had fit suited me well when I stepped on the court and I've just been running with that number ever since. Well, uh, I actually have worn number three since I was like in the second grade. Uh, it was my father's uh, favorite number, but of course everybody know Kyle Davis has that number, so I had to think of something else. They had a couple numbers I could pick from. It was like 20 something. I'm just like, nah, that was not for me. So two and one to add together is three, so I picked that number. But me and Kyle had a conversation like, I'm like, Kyle, like, let, me, let me get the number. He, he just wasn't going, so I had to reach around and uh, make a different assumption for the number, so that's why I got 12.